Hello what's going on guys, it's Danjor TV here. In today's video we will be focusing on the new character Yellen. Yellen is a 5 star Hydro Bug user who will be coming in Genshin Impact 2.7 version. As a member of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, Yellen is frequently in the spotlight. Yellen's unique skill is her ability to inflict pain on her enemies with devastating accuracy and to maximize her damage, Yellen employs a variety of formidable weapons and artifacts. The entire Yellen kit has already been leaked, but since the 2.7 beta is currently in progress the developers are continuously making her to all her constellations, passives, elemental, and more. Yellen's hydro element allows her to deal fatal harm to opponents from afar. So, in this article, we'll look at the ideal Genshin Impact Yellen build and how it can help her reach her full potential. Those who are planning to get their hands on the best version of Yellen in the 2.7 update should certainly start saving Primo gems and begin pre-farming all materials now. It goes without saying that the characters when reached their maximum stats are the most useful ones in the game, hence we have collected all the required data for Genshin Impact Yellen build in version 2.7 and the mats required for it. With that said, and to help all of those who cannot wait for the arrival of the characters in version 2.7, here are all of the ascension materials needed to raise Yellen all the way to level 90. According to the most recent leaks, as well as the descriptions presented on both Honey Impact and Project Amber, you will be able to fully ascend Yellen by using a total of 168 Starkinches. Starkinches are primarily found on the beaches of Lui, some can notably be found in Gaiun Stone Forest, on Yeo Guang Shoal, and on the western end of the beach in Dragon Spine which connects with Yeo Guang Shoal. The next item you're gonna need is the insignias. You will need 18 recruit insignias, 30 sergeants insignias, and 36 lieutenants insignias. The insignias, on the other hand, can be acquired by defeating many of the high level Fatui agents scattered throughout Divit. The next item you need to find is the Runic Fang. You're gonna need a total of 46 Runic Fangs to ascend Yellen to level 90. You will be able to get the Runic Fangs by defeating the Chasm's new Ruin Serpent boss. In order to access the boss, the player must complete the world quest, Surreptitious 7 Star Seal Sundering. Ruin Serpent is a normal boss found in the Serpent's Cave, located at the Chasm's underground mines in Lui. Aside from Ruin Serpent boss, you need also to defeat the Hydro bosses such as Hydro Hypostasis and Rhodesia of Locke, that drops Varanata Lazarite materials. If the Primo Geovish app is infused with Hydro elements during battle, they will drop them as well. You will need to use 1 Varanata Lazarite Sliver, 9 Varanata Lazarite Fragments, 9 Varanata Lazarite Chunks, and 6 Varanata Lazarite Gemstones, to ascend her to max level 90. And on top of that, you will be needing 420,000 more to fully ascend Yellen. To raise all of her skills to level 10, on the other hand, you will need to spend a total of 18 Gilded Scales, 9 Teachings of Prosperity, 63 Guides to Prosperity, 114 Philosophies of Prosperity, as well as 18 Recruit, 66 Sergeants, and 93 Lieutenants and Sigmias. You will also need to spend 3 Crowns of Insight in a total of 4,957,000 more. Now let's talk about her ideal artifacts set. The ideal artifact set for Yellen is the Emblem of Severed Fate. The two-piece set will give you 20% energy recharge. While the four-piece set will increase Yellen's elemental burst damage by 25% of energy recharge. A maximum of 75% bonus damage can be obtained in this way. Other than the Emblem of Severed Fate, players should try to acquire the following artifacts to have the best Genshin Yellen build. 
The ideal Genshin Impact Yellen build is determined by the team composition and whether or not she will be the primary DPS. Just use the Heart of Attack artifact set if Valley Orchid is your main damage source. It gives you a 15% bonus on your Hydro damage. When she utilizes the Elemental skill, the 4-piece increases normal and charged attack damage by 30% for 15 seconds. The Noblesse Oblige set which deals 20% elemental burst damage and buffs team attack, is another option. If you employ Yellen in freeze comps, you can also use the Blizzard Strayer set. When you hit a target that has been affected by Cryo, your crit rate increases by 20%, and in the case of Frozen, it increases by another 20%. And finally for his weapon, we can go on this three. First is the Aqua Simulacra, the Amos Bow and the Prototype Crescent. Obviously, Yellen's signature weapon, Aqua Simulacra will be included in the list. When foes near the character equip this weapon, the Aqua Simulacra, an unreleased 5-star bow, increases the character's HP. In addition, the damage has been boosted by 40%. You'll need a weapon that optimizes the charged attack damage because Yellen uses a bow. The Amos Bow, a 5-star bow with an 18% increase in normal and charged attack damage, increases the damage by 12% every 0.1 seconds while the arrow is in the air after the attack is fired. The Prototype Crescent is another possibility. It'll boost Yellen's DPS significantly without breaking the bank. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching. See you on my next video. Peace.